What's a myth about your profession that you want to debunk? Anesthesiologist, you're not asleep, you are anesthetized. When you're asleep and someone stabs you, you wake up. Veterinary medicine is not a happy-go-lucky career choice where you get to deal with cute animals rather than people. Most of your patients are sick and or scared, and every case involves a fraught negotiation with their stressed-out human. IT. Rebooting is not a waste of time and solves a remarkable number of problems. I am a public librarian. While curating books is still a portion of the job, much of it these days is taken up by database assistance and training, program development and teaching, and public education. It's much closer to school teaching, but for adults and without grading homework, than it was in the past. Commercial aircraft are built almost entirely by hand. Like 96. There's very little automation in the process. If you go to the ER via ambulance, it does not mean you will be seen quicker. Ers take the sickest people first, definitely not the ones who come in by ambulance first. Teachers have very little say in anything. We advocate the best we can but most of the time it's out of our hands including holding children back who desperately need help. There is so much more to the speech-language pathologist scope of practice than working with kids who stutter or can't say their RS. An entire half of the field is in the adult medical setting working with people who have dementia, swallowing disorders, oral cancer, strokes, Parkinson's disease, and voice disorders, plus some other niche areas like transgender voice or accent modification. The pediatric half of the field also works with AAC devices, social skills, literacy development, syntax, executive functioning, writing, feeding, and more. Contrary to popular belief, not every magician has a beautiful assistant. In fact, the only time I make women disappear is when I tell them I'm a magician. That all lawyers make absurd amounts of money. The ones that won't sell their entire life for big bucks tend to make pretty average money. I'm an accountant. Whenever people jokingly talk about the good-looking people in the office, it's always Lisa from accounts. As an accountant, I wish to point out that most of us look like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Cybersecurity is tedious. If you are doing pen testing, 60 of your time is spent on deliverables aka reports. That's what you are paid for and that's what decides if customer will contact you again. Outside of assignments, learning, learning, oh and learning some more. Hospital lab workers do exist no really the lab isn't just a black hole where tubes go in and results come out, but there's people inside making that happen. Massage is not sexy, professionally. If you want a sexy, do it with a partner or a sex worker, not your physio. I can write code. I cannot debug most of your Windows problems without googling them. Fashion design is not glamorous. It has glamorous moments, but is mostly a catty corporate mindfuck and the second biggest industrial polluter, I think. You might have a nice colleague here and there but in general people and management tend to be fucking awful. For 10 stars, do not recommend. Edit punctuation. Print industry your paper isn't as recycled as you think it is. That your fellow drivers on the road in big trucks are sober or well maintained. CDL driver. The amount of drunks and addicts driving around should scare you. The live animal haulers are the worst amphetamines and toothpicks. That all nurses are mean girls. Some are, in fact, mean guys. That most discoveries are greeted with WTF. And not Eureka. People in minimum wage retail and restaurant jobs are not all high school dropouts or losers who wish they had gotten better educations. Performing in a touring band is hard as work and a myriad of things can lead to depression and burnout. Also, crew on tour sound engineers TM's merch people are what keep your favorite musicians from imploding and having fights on stage. If you see one at a show, 
thank them too. I was a tandem skydiving instructor for a bunch of years. For some reason, people thought that I was an adrenaline junkie and risk-taking, pass on a blind curve guy. I just worked my way up to a pretty easy job that became mundane and boring 99 of the time. The only time it was adrenaline inducing was when something went wrong. It's not the type of adrenaline high anyone would seek out. Drug addiction is a real thing. I work in a treatment center. Regardless of what some people think, addiction is real. Most people don't want to be an addict, they can't stop, just cause you ask them to. They don't keep doing it to spite you, or lie or hurt you. Recovery can be brutal. It's sad. Nursing is a profession, not a devotion, calling, whatever other bullshit they tell you. Yes, it's an honor to care for people at their most vulnerable, but stop telling people they'll be a terrible nurse if they say they became a nurse because of the job security or semi-decent wage. I am a stay-at-home dad and former NICU nurse. No, I do not sleep all day as a stay-at-home dad. No, I did not get to play with cute babies all day as a NICU nurse. I used to be a 3D artist and no, the computer doesn't do all the job for us and no, there isn't a better software that'll make everything better in 5 minutes and gosh no, there isn't that one button that makes everything like in my head instantly like in movies. Firefighters don't all look like those calendars. Counselors aren't analyzing you if you aren't paying for a session. I'm not flipping through imaginary DSM pages when you just need to vent. When I'm not at work my counselor brain can turn off to just be a good friend and listen. Bartender here. No I am not hitting on you, I just want a good tip and maybe a nice review with my name so boss knows I'm working hard. Being a full-time artist is enjoyable or good fun. It isn't, it's like any job, you have to get up every day and work whether you like it or not. It's hard work, because you need to turn it on and concentrate 8 hours a day, every day. Because you're doing it day after day, year after year, you're rarely impressed by your own work. It is rewarding though, but you have to work really hard to get that feeling. Social worker here. We do far more than just take kids away from their parents. Child Protective Services social workers make up such a small percentage of us social workers. We work in so many different fields, i.e. geriatrics, medical hospitals, criminal justice, government, foster care, domestic violence, schools, hospice, prisons, the list goes on. Speaking as an unemployed disabled, most of us want to work, but society won't give us a chance. Postal workers aren't paid by your taxes, it comes from postage engineer here. We can't fix everything. I'm mechanical, I know enough to stay away from electricity, not enough to fix most electrical problems. Ejection seat mechanic. Goose would not have died in Top Gun. The canopy explosives can malfunction but moving at the speed that a tomcat moves that would have ripped that canopy off and Goose would have escaped without perishing. Obviously done for dramatic effect. Board game inventors aren't usually multi-millionaires, nor are they all broke with a dream. Many of us just make some extra yearly cash that helps with the daily expenses. Writing hit songs is incredibly difficult and even the very top writers often have to write 100 songs before they even get a song released. The infrastructure, services, applications, and database platforms of even the largest global companies are all held together by hopes and dreams. Not all carpenters are depressed alcoholics I mean most of the ones I know are but not all of them. That graphic design is just a click of a button. I still can't handle layout and typography well. At all. It takes hours of work, study, and implementation to pull it all off. Most pathologists don't do autopsies, except for medical examiners and those in forensics. Butcher here. There's no red dye added to meat at any point. 
scientist more specifically, molecular biologist in biotech. I am not hiding the cure for cancer, an IDK shit about actual medicine. Nurse oftentimes we can't control death, only how we greet it, so for the love of God, do not refuse the comfort drugs for your loved one. The morphine or whatever is not going to kill them, their disease is the comfort drugs just help to ensure they have no pain or anxiety when they die. Let us help them so they don't die crying or trashing in bed, confused and scared out of their minds. The hospice nurses loaded my dad the fuck up when he was dying and I'll forever be grateful for that. Professors sit in cushy chairs all day thinking important thoughts, publishing stuff nobody will read, spending zero effort on teaching, and lighting cigars with wads of grant money. The reality is we're all frantically trying to keep dozens of plates spinning at once, desperately begging for the money needed to pay for basic supplies from granting agencies with a 10 success rate, inundated with bullshit service that the admin foists onto us, and sometimes get assigned classes literally less than two weeks before they start. Architecture is not mostly inspiration. No that's not deductible, regardless of how many likes it got. Also, that life hack to screw the government out of tax money on TikTok. Not a hack, but a federal crime. Yep that one too. No, your pet isn't a dependent for tax purposes. A nurse cannot diagnose your condition. If I had a dollar for every time I had to tell someone you need to see your doctor. That working with musicians is an awesome experience. Don't get me wrong, most of the time it is fun, but they are also some of the biggest Karens. Not all mental health workers have mental health problems. Not all male nurses are gay some of us are bi. As an artist. Here are a few things one. We actually need to be paid for our time and services. Contrary to popular belief, exposure does not put food on our tables. 2. Despite the recent rise of AI artwork, computer graphics are made by people, not computers. 3. It isn't talent. We studied, practiced, worked hard, practiced, and practiced some more to get good at what we do. 4. We cannot read your mind, you actually have to clearly describe what it is you want if you want to get the artwork you have in mind. Ignorance of the law sometimes is an excuse. Daylight savings time isn't for the farmers, please quit blaming us. Most lawyers are actually ethical we do not spend years in school and take out student loans in order to help you cheat. Archaeologist the myth that most of the stuff we find is financially valuable. I've had literally hundreds of people ask me to look at the tiny stone tool fragment or the shitty piece of pottery they found because they think they're gonna pay off their mortgage. Buddy I have bags of 100,000 of those things sitting in the lab. Project management is equal parts finance, babysitting, negotiation, and alcohol consumption. Oh wait, this one's true. Chardonnay isn't oaky or buttery unless it's overly manipulated very few Rieslings are sweet saying you want a Pinot Noir tells us nothing. Pinot Noir from St. Auburn Burgundy France versus Otago New Zealand will be wildly different you don't have an allergy to sulfites unless someone with the letters MD at the end of their name actually told you that you do most red wines that are completely opaque are overly manipulated, and over extracted there is no alcohol in the world that won't give you a hangover. Just because you paid for a lawyer doesn't mean you're going to win your case. I was an Amazon delivery driver, we aren't lazy because we didn't specifically follow the instructions you wrote. We have up to 500 packages per day and no extra time to read your message, your backyard looked sketchy, and the app never deleted old instructions so one to the time it's outdated info. And honestly Amazon is world famous as the company that delivers things to your porch, you should expect the package to go on your porch. I'm a security guard. The myth that we don't actually have any power is false. We have the power to call the real police if there's real